Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. Oh, I do like to be beside the sea. Skip that. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our track preview here, round 13 of the FIA Motocross World Championship with the Monster Energy MXGP of Flanders in Belgium. And we return to the beach, the Lommel Beach, that is the toughest, most notorious racetrack on the MXGP calendar. This weekend though, there's all change. We have a brand new racetrack, completely revamped since we were here last year. I'm stood down here on the first turn. The new start position is down here in what is the far left corner of the track compared to where we've started previously. But it's about 70 meters to turn one. Nice and wide, banked to the outside. And as we exit the first turn, we immediately hit the Fox Hole Shot banner. Then we've got about 50 meters down to turn two, which is a 180 right. And the exit of that turn leads to the Monster Energy finish line jump. So straight away, before we even get into the first lap, we'll have all the information that we need, who's where, the positions they're in, who made a good start, who made a bad start, and all the rest of it but it's what's after the Monster Energy finish line that is also quite interesting. So I'm gonna take you right there, right now. So here I am on the Monster Energy finish line. I'll tell you what, if you're a VIB Skybox Gold customer, what a great view of the track you get this year. There's a the start, turn two, there's your restaurant. And on the finish line jump, it's only a small tabletop, but as soon as we land from here, and get back on the gas. We're into a 30 meter triple, which uh, happens right in front of the hospitality for the Belgian Federation and their sponsors and their fans, maybe the organizers. But this part of the racetrack is where traditionally we've always had that big quad jump. So it's in exactly the same place. But to think that we're just running the track in a different location and one or two bits here and there, you're very much mistaken because the racetrack is completely different. Even from this point here, at the end of the straight, we do a 180 right, come down here, straight ahead is where the old start straight used to be coming towards us, but would go into that corner over there. So coming out of what, turn four, we head up towards the another hospitality there, one of the sponsors, turn right, and then the finish line jump, from years gone by is now a city tabletop jump. And after that, there are a lot more changes, but I'm gonna take you to one part on the racetrack in particular, because after that city jump over there, the track really starts to open up. You got a, a nice flowing fast left, right through the trees that takes us right the way down the back straight in front of the main spectator area. So that whole bank, that whole viewing area is exactly the same. And the reason why the organizers from MXGP Flanders have decided to switch things up is to give a better viewing experience. So uh, wherever the, the fans are out on the racetrack, you've got a lot more visibility. You can see a lot more of the riders out on track, but there's one part over there, probably uh, three, four corners from where they rejoin the start straight. Very, very tricky. It's gonna be very interesting as well to see how the riders deal with it. You know what? I'm gonna take you over there right now. Come on, let's go. So just behind me, the exit of turn 15. As you can see, it's, uh, this is coming towards us now. So the highest end is on the inside for the riders coming this way. And as we head through this turn here, turn 16, I think is gonna be one of the most challenging parts of the racetrack because we're into a, what is at the moment a shallow series of waves that continue to go all the way round, 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 round the pond here in the middle and finish just before the FC Moto jump, the yellow banner there. But here's the thing, they're nice and shallow at the moment, but anybody who rides sand knows sand digs out very, very quickly. And the first three or four, they're relatively straight, but then things tighten up. And as you get tight around the corner, the, they kind of fan out from inside out. So they're gonna be shorter and tighter through the inside. That means they're only gonna get deeper and deeper. But the funny thing here is, after the first sort of three or four, the line around the outside is completely flat. 
So there's going to be a point where there's going to be a very fast line around the outside, but of course, eventually that's going to break down. But this here, with the changes of direction, uh, how tight they are together, how closely packed they are, they don't look much on screen right now, but you give it a couple of practice sessions and already this part of the racetrack is going to be so beat up. They just continue round, 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 round. All the way over there. It's going to be brutal. Glad I'm not <laughs> glad I'm not riding this weekend, that's for sure. But it's going to be a real challenge. The only good thing they've got on their side this weekend, it's going to be cool. It's not going to be hot like we were in Czech Republic a week ago where it was pushing 30 degrees. We may get rain on Sunday, but that's a, a May. Um, but you can probably hear the wind is just starting to pick up here at the moment on the racetrack. And so uh, I'm just going to walk you over to the pit lane area where they rejoin the track because they re-emerge back onto the start straight to start another lap. So we'll head there now. So here I am then on the final long straight on the racetrack, which is just coming past pit lane, as you can see. Look how wide it is. Look at the texture of this dirt. Absolutely prime. It's going to be deep. It's going to be gnarly. Now the riders at the end of this straight, here's how they uh, emerge back onto the start straight through a very fast, what will be 45 degree turn. You go straight across the start straight back up towards turn one. And then of course, uh, two corners from there, you've got the Monster Energy finish line area. But we're gonna end this track walk here, uh, just in front of pit lane. Now, the racetrack here, just to sum it up. After the first turn, first few corners, probably uh, a little bit twisty and tight here and there. That'll certainly sort a few riders out here and there. But from about turn five, which is the corner just before the, uh, the old finish line jump, which is now the city jump, the track really starts to open out. Turn six is a 90 degree left turn seven a 90 degree right takes you through the trees over on the far side of the circuit and then the spectator bank that's normally full they've got the elevation now to see a lot more of the action on the infield part of the track so the organizers here have done a fantastic job and um, we just got that one section of waves that as the weekend goes on that will become very very brutal indeed other than that i think they've done a fantastic job they always put good water down, good moisture. It's always a real test of the rider's character and sand riding prowess, if you like. We've got a full program again, MX2, MXGP. We've got the 125 European Championship back as well, presented by FMF Racing. And we've got the uh, open class European Championship round here as well. So there'll be plenty of action on track. Catch it all on MXGPTV.com with me, Paul Malin, and the team. Hope you enjoyed our track walk today. See you on the other side. Enjoy.